So we've got the we got the Perdomo Reserve Champagne Noir today. Little tiny guy. Smells, smells delicious. How big do you think this thing is? I don't even do your little middle finger measurement there. It's about three, four and a half inches, five inches. Five fifty maybe. Yeah, five fifty. Yeah, it smells it smells good. I don't know if it smells delicious. It smells pretty good. It smells good. I don't know. My dog punched me in the nose. So I left it off. All right. All right. You need a lighter too. No, I don't know. No, you just didn't bring a cutter in there. Reloader. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have this cutter. That, that's probably not necessarily true. Yeah, it is. I would have probably looked. No, you never would. <coughs> is that good, huh? Ah, uh, loose tobacco got stuck in my throat. Taste. Let's try it. Um, bitterness. I get a little bit of a chocolate. Kind of like that Sancho Panza. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Wow. First thoughts is bitter. Yeah, bitter, bitter, bitter. Yeah, a little spicy for me, but bitter, bitter, bitter. Listen, it's the cabinet, limited cabinet series, all right? Probably should have kept these in the cabinet. <laughs> Okay, so we're about a third in on this Champagne Noir. Really got mellow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that good, huh? No, it wasn't the cigar that made me do that. I just burped and it came out wrong. They, it, they go out. If you do not keep puffing on them, if you just stop s smoking them for three minutes, yeah. they're gone. And so this one is... It's out. I'm going to have to relight it. So the, the burn is... Is bad. Yeah, it's it's not that good. I mean, I've, had, I've see... had issues with mine. It's jagged. The the draw is nice. Construction is is good, except you know we got these burn problems. Uh, but it's not. It's a real tight pack in there. Um, hey, hey, hey. Why does it always gotta be like that? Yeah, you do gotta work it. Um, yeah, like you said, it's very mellow. It's it's. It doesn't taste anything like it did before. It's kind of getting, for me, it's kind of getting more of a sweet tobacco flavor coming in to it now. A little bit sweeter. It's kind of nice. And mine stayed really bitter, but not, when I say really bitter, I don't mean really, you know, really, really bitter. It just, it stayed bitter, but it's nice. It's not a bad bitter. Yeah, no, it's just sweet. The tobacco is getting sweet to me. And maybe that's why it's champagne. Oh. Alright, so we're in and a half on this Perdomo Champagne Noir. It's whatever. Yeah. It's really not the best I've ever had. It's not It's not horrible. It's a nice little smoke um, for, I mean, just kind of sitting here watching football like we're doing. Just, yeah. just hanging out in the Russian connection. It's not the manliest of names, though, for sitting here watching football, right? I mean, it's not, could be smoking like a Skull Crusher. Sure. Or a Ruination or, yeah. you know, something. It's champagne the world. Yeah, well, no, yeah. well, whatever. I mean, yeah, but it's, I mean it's just it's us, so, I mean, what's, you know, what's going to happen? It, it's not really changed at all. I mean, I, we both resuscitated it um, to see kind of what the... And it, and it helped a little bit with sure, the bitterness, sure. as I would expect it sure. would, but it doesn't change any at all. And I got a really, um, whenever it went out, that's, this is, like you said, you have to work this cigar to keep it up, and that sucks. Yeah. There are so many good cigars that you can have that you can just light 
puff on it every so often and it'll stay lit. Yeah, you can sit down for five minutes and you come back and it's still, it's still perfect. Burning. Just like this one will be out cold. Yep, and minutes. and when you if there's a tiny little bit of burn and you start puffing away at it, you get a horrible flavor. And it's just at that point, it's it's more worth it to just light it back up and let it you know light it, touch it all up and let it burn again, than to just try and puff on it. But it's hard to work on it. It really is. But um, for what it's worth, I mean, it's a decent little cigar for just kind of smoking on a Saturday. Yeah. Not expecting anything complex. Not expecting anything ridiculous or amazing. It's now, just now. Whatever. I mean, I, we got it in the in one of the VIP or the GA bag at R RMCF, but. I don't know what the price point is. Depending mm -hmm. on price point at a B&M or online, maybe it's not such a great um, kind of cigar just to have right. puffing on a Saturday. Right. But for us, because it was in the, the humidor sitting there, it's a nice little Saturday yeah. cigar. Yeah, I agree. Um, we're, we're done with this. We're... I, I tried to give it the benefit of the doubt and just nub it. I mean, as much as I could, hoping that maybe it was it was I don't know. It really was not the best cigar in the world. No, it, no, it wasn't horrific, and I'm not. You know, it smoked worse. Sure. Oh um, yeah. Certainly. Much yeah. worse. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big pig. Big pig. Uh, <laughs> but it's a. It was a far cry from halfway or even the first third, and we were like, oh, you know, it's. Mellow a nice, man. it's a mellow smoke. It'd be something. It's a nice little smoke to have when you're watching football. And I, I just don't know if I'd ever pick one up again. If someone gave me one, I'm. It depends on how I feel during the day. I might not smoke it. I might give it to one of my buddies. Put it in the dirty thirty humidor, and when someone comes over and says they want a cigar, give it to them because it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, it wasn't for me. Um, the I had bad bad burn on mine. It went out a couple of times. And, and I, I didn't smoke it any differently than I smoke other stuff that I leave mm -hmm. in the tray, and it just it just sits there and smolders and smokes, and it's perfect. So that to me was disappointing. Yeah, that yeah, it went out a couple times. Um, as far as the flavor was, I don't know. I, it never really did anything. It wasn't it, it, sweet. It wasn't was it super strong. It, there was no spice at the very end. I mean, there was just very little, but little anything. But there was some nasty bitterness to the point where you went. You almost threw up at one point. Yeah, a couple times, yeah. And, and that's not the mark of a good cigar, in my opinion. Not for me. No. Yeah. Not for so, me. Um, what do you think about a rating for you, for this for you? Uh, three. Okay. And I say three. Um, it was ter It was not good. I'll be honest. It was not good. But I felt like that construction was okay. Um, the draw was nice. The burn sucked. Um, but it was it was fairly consistent. So for that, I, I'll say I'll say a three. I I'm, I'll be a little bit more generous. I was gonna be a four point five. Um, it's not a cigar that's halfway in the middle. That's you know okay. Well the con, all the construction was great. The burn was great. It didn't go out at all. I didn't have to touch it up. But the flavor sucked. That's five. Or in the reverse where the uh, construction sucks, burn sucks, but the flavor was good. It construction was not the best and the flavor was not the best so I'm gonna put it at a 4.5 um, I don't know I've never had any other Perdomo's except for this one this is my first Perdomo that I've ever had me too and so maybe it's not the Perdomo you're supposed to start with but it was one we had it was one we had and it's um, oh, wow. I, I just don't think I'll ever I'll, I don't think I'll ever smoke another Perdomo Champagne Noir I, I'd love to try the other Perdomo's ever Heard really good things about Perdomos, and and I'm sure a lot of the viewers could say the same thing that Perdomos are great, but this one for me and for you probably is just not the best that we've yeah. have, could have had. Nope, and maybe it's good for for other people. The Champagne Noir, I'm I'm sure somebody really enjoys it. Oh yeah, just not anybody that lives here. I feel like it starts a lot earlier, and we're just like sitting there waiting for the red light, and then it pops up, yeah. and then so we're sitting there staring at it. 